congratulations, I think that was all. I literally just had to click two buttons. I guess we'll find out in a second. But I really want to show you guys the detail on this. This is again Archvillain Games. Beautiful fucking model. Look at this. Look at this absolute beauty. They didn't have to go this hard with a sculpt putting this much detail. But they did, and I fucking am here for it. I am fully fucking here for it. I have an idea of what I'm going to do for her. She's the one I've been wanting to paint uh, for a bit now. And as you can see, what I did was half of her face looks a little bit darker than the other. And the reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted it to be... Um, and I'll show you the last couple of bits here. This part is the orb that will be here. And the idea is that it will be giving off an energy so lights and shadows will be bouncing off of her face, but only on certain areas. So like here, the light's not going to be showing in that area because of where it's bouncing off of. So I wanted it a little darker so as not to hide the details. Now, part of the reason I pinned her on here is because as you can see, she got a lot of detail even on the back where you're never going to see it. You're never going to see this because of the way the model sits. Now, keep in mind, this is her torso and arms. Calf fries sound really good. Um... No, I'm actually, I'm in the Mesquite area of tech of, of Dallas, so opposite side of Fort Worth. But going back to it, you see here how this will sit. Obviously, she's too big to actually sit over here, by the way. You'll never really see the detail when it actually sits in there. So I'm still going to do my due diligence as a, as a mini painter and try to paint at least the back half of her cape, um, if not the back of the model itself, since it's going to be so hidden. Unlike something like this, where the light values, I wanted it, as you can see, with the way this light is bouncing off and giving those automatic shadows, that's what I wanted. So I sprayed at an angle, and there's still areas where you see a little bit of a highlight that went a little bit overboard with the white, but like the under areas are still dark enough and gray enough. They'll still pop, but you'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and spray a couple of things in a minute here. I'll put this down. Um, and then one of the other pieces that I'm working on right now, and just to, just to show off, uh, and this is all from like, Three months ago that they made these uh, Archvillain games. This is another tiefling. And again, you can see where the light and dark values are based off of where I was spraying. So the most raised areas towards the back here, I made sure were white. And there's a little bit of gradient. There's a little bit of grays. There's a little bit of blacks there. Um, but I wanted these areas here to be the brightest because it's going to be like a magical effect. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, I've never painted something that that fine before, but I'm really looking forward to it. Then we've got the body of the laughing, of uh, the grinning god himself, which that neck piece there in the middle, I'm going to drill a hole in there eventually, and I'm going to magnetize it so that I can swap out the heads. But you see the amount of detail on here. I really wanted as much of the light as I could be to be bouncing off almost overhead to create these darker shadows so that when the heads, say for example, uh, this head right here, 
this head right here, when it bounces off, I want it to look like it's all kind of coming together there. And of course, it's a little tilted because of the way I have it sitting on there. But um, it, is, it is truly a lovely model. I, I love showing off these models. Um, the only issue, though, is that he's got these different heads. And I decided I wanted to paint them each in different colors. So I've got a blue head here. I've got the red head there. Um, I've got the green. Oh, man, that looks really nice there. Holy crap, there we go. Now we can see some detail. Fuck yeah. And I love it because each of the head looks... Each of those heads look very different. Um, and then the last head I did... Um, I sprayed it initially... I sprayed it red initially. And then did this green with the little gradients there. So you can kind of see where it almost feels like, um, oh God, what's that Street Fighter creature? Um, oh God, my street cred for video gaming has just gone down. I can't remember the name of the uh, character. I can't remember what her name was. I want to say it was her. I'm, I'm not as into Street Fighter as I am Mortal Kombat, so I apologize if I don't know. Um, that being said, I already kind of know which color schemes I want to go with. Blanca, Blanca, yes, that's who I was thinking of. That's what the head reminded me of. So I already know what kind of color scheme I want to go with the, the Lamia, the Snake Lady. But with him, I'm not sure what to make the colors because I want them all to pop. Um, and I want it to feel, because like Murphy, uh, Murphy has, uh, old man Murphy, uh, he has a jester character that has a really great pattern of black and purple and green, black, purples and greens, a little bit of golds. I like that. Um, but I think what I want to do with, with him is, especially because he's got this really awesome Lovecraftian stomach here, um... I think what I may want to do is do reds and greens, maybe. Creepheart asks, do I hate Pokemon? I'm not a big fan of Pokemon, actually. I'm, I'm not, I never really got into it. I like Pokemon, don't get me wrong. I like it okay. Um, but it's not something I'd ride home with Mama about. Going back to this, though, the color scheme for me is kind of eluding me because I have these different colors, and they each pop so well. Now, this head in particular, what I did was, again, sprayed it black and then sprayed a little bit of white. And then I took the red airbrush paint that I had and just went over it with a base coat. That's why you have those really nice, deep, dark uh, recesses and also some brighter areas where it doesn't look so, like, um, not demonic, it doesn't look so saturated, it doesn't look so um, obscure. You can still see the eyes and everything plenty. That being said, I've got a lot of minis over here. Um, I'm gonna move them over there. I was working on this one for my wife uh, before I printed the bigger one but she's not who I feel like painting right now. Sometimes you just gotta feel it, you know? You just gotta feel what you're, what you're in the mood to paint. It's very important, because if you're not in the mood to paint it, you just ain't gonna do it. I know who I'm gonna paint. It's the color scheme that's eluding me. So I'm gonna move all of these that aren't gonna be painted. I'm gonna give myself some room here and move them onto this desk over there. Um, and one thing that I'm going to be doing here uh, is I'm going to be trying to create a contrast paint. Um, and what a contrast paint essentially is, is it gives you really dark 
um, really dark values and really light values. Um, if you spray, if you spray or paint your model, uh, prime your model before you paint it, prime it white, fully white, or even with the zenithal highlight that you saw with the blacks and the whites and the grays, um, what happens when you do that? Um, I don't have a mermaid to paint. Um, what happens when you do that is uh, it gives you greater gradients on the skin or whatever it is that you're painting. Now, I'm debating on her if I should make this flesh color on her face and arms or if I should go with the green that I want to put on her stomach and on her scales. Um, I could potentially make one, yes. Uh, I need to find out where I have it. Um, I should put the tablecloth on this. Anyway, um, now, thing is, with all the little details on this, I'm going to be using paint brushes to paint all of that on. They're too small and too fine for me at this point um, to actually be able to paint with the airbrush. I'm not that good. Again, I've only had a airbrush for a couple of months now. But the idea is, what I'm thinking is that her covering, her head covering is going to be red for the background, like a nice dark red. And then these raised flowery bits are going to be gold. And then these little tassels here will also be gold. Um, what I want to do is have her blouse, her shirt. I want it to be a nice contrast to the red. So in order to pop with that, I'm thinking of making it blue. Um, I'm thinking like a nice, maybe navy blue with a, another gold trim highlight, um, maybe brass. Her corset here, I want to paint like a leather, a leatherish color, a nice. Um, now, this is what separates me from like a legit painter. I'm going to be doing very basic stuff. Um, I don't do blends as well as I could. Um, I've seen some miniature painters who can make leather look like actual fucking leather. I am not quite that talented. Yet. I might someday be. I'm not going to hold myself to, to that because the whole reason I wanted to do this was because I wanted to be a chill, relaxed, just, you know, no worries. I'm, I'm a beginner. I'm a moderate painter. I'm not going to be an extreme painter. I'm not going to be um, one of those guys. If that makes sense. I also want to check on my phone battery life here because I realize... Um, at some point, I'm going to have to find a way to connect my phone and make sure that it's, you know, charging and everything. Um, so that might stop my stream. But yeah, um, that's what I'm going to go with. It's just that with where it connects here, I also want her belt to really stand out. And I'm thinking of that skirt underneath maybe... I don't know if I want to continue it to be um, that blue color or red. I don't know. Because there's like a little break here that I think is supposed to be her belly stomach uh, showing a little bit, but I'm not sure. Oh, the charger is the, the charger is in the, I was going to say in the car. Uh, it is in the car, but I also have another charger. Uh, It's raining out. I don't know if I want to go into my house and grab it. Plus, I don't really have... I'm a liar. I have plenty of ways to connect it because I have plenty of electric cords in here because I'm in the garage. Um, hmm. Gemma makes a good point. I'm going to go ahead and grab my charger. I'll be right back. Um... Should I, I don't know how to pause the stream or anything. Um, I 
I don't know if there's any way I can do this without just walking away and just leaving you guys with a blank screen or anything, which I, I apologize. Um, so I, I'm not on a computer, I'm on my phone. Um, so I, I don't know if I can actually do it. There's a lot of learning curve for, for me, clearly. Uh, again, I'm not a professional streamer or anything, but this is, this is fun. Um, okay, uh, give me, give me like two minutes. Uh, I will be right back. You're not going to hear anything like crazy or anything, but if you do, you got to tell me. If you hear like ghosts and shit inside my garage, you are by law having to tell me. I need to know if a man has died in here. It's all right, Noodle. Uh, I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, so I'll be right back. Give me, like I said, give me like two minutes. Probably going to take it less than that. It's also a good time to remind you to drink. This late at night, I would suggest water like I'm doing. Don't drink alcohol. Clearly, I'm procrastinating. Be back.